Hi, Dave Smith here with Grammy winner Roger Lynn. We're showing off our latest creation. This is the Tempest Analog Drum Machine. Small and portable, but heavy duty. Uh, an incredibly powerful little instrument. And uh, actually calling it a drum machine is, is uh, really understanding its capabilities. When Dave and I started talking about this, the design of this product, we really asked ourselves, what does a drum machine need to be in the year 2011 and beyond? And we really wanted to make something that's a virtuosic instrument for beat-oriented music. And this thing really is wonderful in its ability to, all in real time, compose, manipulate, and arrange beat-oriented music. And we're very excited about it, and we think you will be too. And when you integrate all of those features with the sound, the analog sound, and when you're not limited to static samples, it just opens up a whole new world of possibilities in a musical instrument, a, a rhythmic musical instrument. So uh, check it out here. So, here's a little more detail on what the instrument entails. We start with the oscillator section, and we have four oscillators per voice in this instrument. We have two analog oscillators plus a sub-oscillator, and we have two digital oscillators. The uh, digital oscillators could be regular old samples, or we even put in the Prophet VS waves just for fun. After that, it goes to the low-pass filter. It's four-pole, fully resonant. Uh, if you've played with our other instruments before, you're familiar with the basic setup there. We have a high-pass filter this time, two-pole, and audio mod. We have feedback, like in the Tetra and the Mofos, uh, that gives you a lot of extra character per sound, as well as uh, adding a little distortion and just all kinds of flavors involved there. Uh, on the main outputs, we have a stereo analog distortion, a stereo analog compressor, uh, individual outs per voice in the back, USB. We have an organic LED, very crisp display, very, very nice to look at and work with. And uh, I'll just go through and play a couple sounds here and turn a few knobs so you can get an idea of what you can get out of the instrument. <laughs> Roger Lynn, and I'm here to tell you a little bit more about the sequencing section of the Tempest drum machine that Dave and I have created. It's really a very interesting machine uh, intended to be a virtuosic instrument for the creation, manipulation, and arrangement of beat-oriented music in real time. And what I mean by that is that you can use these 90 panel controls and this very real-time operating system to do just about everything without ever stopping. Then you can use the, the pads as, to trigger 16 different beats so that you can uh, arrange a song in real time. You can record that song, those arrangements, into a song in real time and do all this without stopping. And that's what really makes it a wonderful performance instrument. Even though it excels as an offline instrument, it really is wonderful as a real-time performance instrument. So I'll talk a little bit about some of the specific features. Uh, you can load uh, from flash memory into uh, uh, its working memory, 16 beats at once, and each one of those beats has 32 different complex analog sounds, uh, which of course can have samples as uh, sound sources as well, but that means you've actually got 512 sounds in memory at once, because each beat has its own unique sounds and all the sound manipulations. There's no kit that's common to different beats. You can load in kits, but you have the ability to have each beat have all of its own parameters in once. That's very, very powerful. The pads are very cool. They're arranged 
just this 2 by 8 instead of 4 by 4 or 1 by 16, and it ends up being the ideal compromise between the two. Uh, the nice thing about the 2 by 8 is when you're doing step programming, and the pads are all lit so they animate while you're playing, is that it gives you that nice visual indication of the first 8th, 8 16th notes and second 8 16th notes for um, step programming. Yet it's very, very nice having them next to the front edge for playing. I find it actually much, much better than 4x4. Four four. Um, and the other thing you can do with the pads is you can arrange them as, you can assign them as 16 tunings. You select a sound and you can play them as 16 tunings and it'd be major or minor scales or pentatonics or et cetera, et cetera. They can be used as 16 mutes when you're playing back a beat to turn the different sounds on and off. fixed velocities. So you can, uh, if you're not very good at dynamic playing, you can use them to be able to create the different velocities that way. On the side here, we've got two very interesting slide controls. They sense both position and pressure where you press, and you can use these assigning them to almost any sound parameter or beat-wide parameter in the machine, and then all the movements you make can be recorded live. Now, when I say pressure sensitive, that means, for example, this one could be filter frequency for position, but then filter resonance for pressure. And so you're able to do some wonderful manipulations in real time. Uh, the signal path is entirely analog, so it's a very pure and very powerful, very punchy sound using uh, Dave's excellent synth voices, and they're very complex, very, very capable synth voices. But we have a number of effects on there that remain in the analog domain. You've got analog distortion, modeled after guitar amps in a sense. You've got analog compression. You've also got delay in here, but without digital delay, it's done as a MIDI delay. And you've also got a stutter effect using the roll button, um, where you can um, actually do the same sort of stutter effect that someone would do either with a turntable or by uh, digitally looping a certain part of a, of a beat, but do it all as part of the sequencer so it maintains the analog signal path. The other thing I want to mention is that I've used every single trick I know to get the human feel just right. Everything I learned from the LM1, the Lindrum, the Lin 9000, the MPC60, the MPC3000. So it really is excellent and really gets the sound the way you want it on first pass. It doesn't have to be tweaked a lot. It's just set up to sound and feel right. And I'd say just in quick summary, it's uh, Tempest is just a wonderful product that we're really very excited about. Uh, it's a true musical performance virtuosic instrument, and we're really, really proud of it, and we hope you like it too.